Hepsuk, he worked for whole family, Rick uh, Allen. He studied law. Uh, although he's, he's quite, a, quite an active. I've seen his work. He's done some work in Italy and Switzerland. He's English himself. And he's, he's gone, like you were saying, he's gone, he's infiltrated in the industry. Now he's, he's not an architect. He's not working as such. He's not presenting himself as a logo. As a sort of an architectural logo, he's working, and he is still developing what he thinks is best from his sort of caring for the industry. So caring for the industry doesn't mean you have to design, build separately without being part of the system. No, I don't know. I, I was fascinated just. <coughs> He didn't present himself as an architect. I found that by Google. Mm -hmm. I think we isolate ourselves by putting ourselves on this seven-year seven pedestal. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, we, and we, we, in seven years, we don't really learn about construction or, or you know, <laughs> properly about contracts <laughs> or really properly about any of the bits you actually like, need. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a that's failing for the universities themselves, though, isn't it? Yeah. Right. But there was, there was knowledge, a, knowledge of construction is a fundamental thing in architecture. That in itself is one reason probably the industry doesn't respect such architects as much as we'd like them to. We don't really know how to build things. The only reason, the only way you learn how to do that is by doing stuff like this. Yeah. Yeah. Getting your hands dirty and messing on site. Now maybe that's something which should be taken to the ROPA in a sense and brought forward and say, look, this should be a component mm -hmm. of, yeah. well, of the education. So it's, it's a breakdown in both directions. It's a breakdown of that relationship between, you know, the client, the the builder and the architect. And, you know, the architects don't have any faith in the building industry, um, which for fairly good reason in this country, and the building industry's got no faith in the architects because they don't know what they're doing with construction. So yeah. like, Doesn't that a lot of that inadequacy come from the person? Because it's quite easy to blame the universities, but we say we could do their job, their job, their job. Well, why aren't we doing it? There's an inherent, there's an inherent shyness among our. Sorry, I might, I might have missed your point. But there's an inherent shyness among architects to do other things because you've studied for seven years, so therefore you're going to be an architect. Whereas, whereas someone who studies law for three years, four years, they won't be, they won't necessarily become a lawyer. They will branch into various disciplines and use their skills among other disciplines. So there's, a, there's an almost uh, very much a, a chicken aspect to architects where you've studied for seven years so you have to become an architect. It's, it's what you love and I think you can apply those skills to many things but it takes quite a brave student or graduate to branch into those things. But it's also because you completely will follow the parts one, two, three, whatever. Yeah. Parts one and two criteria you can't choose your modules etc. It's drilled into you from day one and that's the reason. Yeah. That's Sorry it. I think I went Mr. No, 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 I don't be honest. <laughs> well I think that works nicely from dissolving the architectural profession to dissolving the architecture education. Yeah. That's our cue to start. We've got to keep moving on. Are we, are we present? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right. Oh, great.